Well, late today, the federal government delayed plans to put a tax on Christmas trees sold this coming holiday season. Many people complain painting Uncle Sam as a Grinch, and it now appears the tax has been put on hold. Our Don Grimace has reaction to an idea that had some seeing red. I would have never thought it. I, I like to fell over when I seen it. Jewel Lay's been a Christmas tree farmer for 30 years, and in all that time at Lazy Lay Farms in Dade City, he's seen drought, disease, and recession take the holiday cheer out of his business. But he never thought he'd see a federal tax on Christmas trees. I couldn't believe why in the world the government would get involved in the Christmas tree industry. What the government wanted was a 15 cent assessment on every fresh Christmas tree sold by large growers in America. The money would be used to study and promote the sale of trees. Those sales have fallen from 37 million annually to 33 million annually over 15 years, often replaced by artificial Christmas trees. The government wants to reverse that trend. It announced the assessment in the Federal Register. The cost will likely be passed on to customers like the folks who brought kids to McFarland Park. Play me a song. Do jingle bells. Lynette Alvarez plans to buy a fresh tree this year, but she doesn't like the idea of a Christmas tree tax, even a small one. I just don't think it's fair because of all our people out of work and the economy is so really bad right now. One dad told me, frankly, he thinks the government has no business spending millions of dollars promoting Christmas trees. In fact, he says his kids will do it for free. In Dade City, Don Gourmet's ABC Action News.